There's a new deal reached in Madison that could save Milwaukee from bankruptcy. Republican state leaders and Governor Tony Evers unveiled a new bill that would allow the Milwaukee County Board to add 0.4% to its sales tax. And in the city, it allows the Milwaukee Common Council to implement a 2% sales tax on residents to generate millions of dollars. 12 News political director Matt Smith is live in Madison. Matt, a major sticking point in this is now gone. Joyce, a major reversal tonight. Voters will no longer have to approve a sales tax hike in the city and county to address the looming and critical pension crisis. This the result of late night and early morning negotiations and a final ultimatum from Republicans. As tour groups circled the Capitol in these final days of school, behind the scenes, a frantic ending to months-long negotiations. We are excited to announce today that um, we have an agreement. Republicans this afternoon announcing an agreement with Governor Tony Evers, allowing Milwaukee and Milwaukee County to raise its sales tax to help pay for the unfunded pension crisis and to maintain and increase law enforcement numbers in the city. Today truly is, in my humble opinion, a victory for public safety. The sales tax hike no longer needing voter approval, a dramatic reversal and win for local officials. It will now instead require a two-thirds approval from the Common Council and County Board. Republicans detailing other Milwaukee-specific provisions, including changes to the Fire and Police Commission, requiring specific number of sworn officers and firefighters, and reinstating 25 school resource officers at Milwaukee Public Schools. The agreement, though, still needing the approval from the Senate and Assembly. What are the concerns among the lawmakers, though, who are not there yet? You know, we're, we're going to talk to all the lawmakers, all the members of our caucus, and I talked to the minority party, and I think uh, some of them will get there, and I think it'll be a good day, a bipartisan win. And Matt, this is a sweeping piece of legislation that now also includes education funding. Joyce, a billion more dollars proposed for K through 12 public schools, also more money for school choice, a compromise between the governor and Republicans. Also, as part of this sweeping legislation, more state money sent to municipalities, every municipality across the state. And compromise has been rare there. Matt Smith reporting live in Madison. The governor, Milwaukee's mayor and county executive all released statements this afternoon. The governor says the compromise will be transformative for communities and the state. Milwaukee Mayor Kevlar Johnson says in part there are aspects to the bill he strongly objects to. However, no one is completely satisfied with the final product. And County Executive David Crowley says, quote, anyone who wants to see Milwaukee County avoid the reported service cuts or staff reductions and continue its journey to achieve race and health equity should support this deal.